top point. Oh. No time to rest. We go straight into the first semi-final of the recurve women's individual a competition that's going to be contested just with the archers from one country, Korea. Let's go down and meet the first two semi-finalists. On target number one, representing the Republic of Korea, Kang Chiyong. On target number two, representing the Republic of Korea, Ang San. The line judge for this matchup is Shannon Russell Tyre. So Kang Cha Young from Korea, the world number 28. Well, kind of sort of ignore the world rankings at the moment, given the fact this is their first outing on the, at the big competitions. She's 26 years old and is the 2019 Hyundai Archery World Cup final champion. Goes up against her teammate, the 22-year-old world number five, An San, who won the final in 2022, the reigning champion, also a three-time Olympic champion, history maker, and San. Bizarrely, surprisingly, in a Hyundai Archery World Cup stage, these two have never faced each other. No. So both of them have been out on the field uh, before today. Um, obviously different circumstances uh, with the break in between, but um, it does know that they've had a taste of the atmosphere and uh, of the shooting direction. And so they have a little bit of knowledge about the field. And some success. <laughs> and some success, yeah. Ten. So having already taken Team gold in both the women's team and the mixed team. Kang Nine. gets into th the 10 ring for the first time in the match. Ten. Just some, some really nice shooting here. We were um, discussing earlier um, what we were expecting to Ten. see in these uh, finals. Um, and one of the things we said we expect to see at least 18 arrows per final of high quality shooting in terms of scoring but also technique. But not a huge amount of difference in the technique. They're, they're all pretty similar, aren't they, in terms of their process? Yeah, there's a, a yeah, pretty strict regime, I think, in, uh, in Korea in terms of uh, technique. Um, so you get kind of pressed into this shape and uh, it works for most of them. Um, and if it doesn't work, then they pick somebody else for whom it does work. Can we take a look back at, at this technique, Chef? Yeah, it's uh, just pretty much all textbook. You can see there's a minor difference in uh, An San has her elbow a bit higher than uh, Kang Chae Young. Um, but for the rest, it's very similar. You can see that they have a beautiful expansion through the clicker. Uh, there's not too much movement uh, going on that's unnecessary so it's just it's just very very unfussy but the yeah. other thing about it is it it's pretty quick as well yeah typically it's pretty quick uh, I think Ansan has a, a slightly quicker shot than uh, Kang Chae Young does but it's only very slightly target of uh, six set points for the win as you can see Kang taking the first set so each individual set is uh, contested over three arrows. Whoever gets the top score right. over those three arrows Joel. gets two set points. If they share, or they share the score, they share the points, one apiece. So in the beginning Joel. of the the, the session, uh, you mentioned that there was only a slight breeze, but you can see that the breeze is reaching the archers at this uh, moment, uh, especially um, the two arrows shot by Ansan, you could see that her shirt was kind of uh, wavering a bit. So definitely some wind uh, on the venue, but 
not nearly as much as we've seen in other years here in Shanghai. Well, Kung Cho Yung making this look fairly easy at the moment, going 4 0 up. You mentioned the wind. I mean, look, it was pretty wet and windy here earlier this week. And as, as you say, it settled right down. Uh, we're used to there being difficult conditions in, in Shanghai, changeable, uh, perhaps because we are right on the riverside. Um, but what I think, to just put some reference to what you're saying about the archers can now feel it, what we've seen so far is the wind affecting things down at the target end, because th th where we're looking at now is pretty shielded on the, one, on the riverside by a big marquee and on the other side uh, by the stands. And so they've not really been getting hit with the wind so much on the shooting line. No, you, you cannot see like the major movements in the in the bow arm that we uh, have seen in the past here next to the river. Um, and I think, like you said, it's mostly due to the fact that there's tents and there's uh, stands around them. Um, so it's a pretty shielded situation um, and they can focus on their shooting rather than on the wind. Well, having to focus on her shooting is the triple Olympic champion. First archer to do that, got the first opportunity in Tokyo. And San, 4 0 down, Ten. hits the center sure. of the target at the start of the third set. Dead center. Nine. A slight difference in technique um, between the two of these uh, in how they come into anchor as well. Um, Kang has a bit more of a, a slow approach to uh, getting to her anchor point, Nine. whereas um, An San, she just like pretty much throws her hand to her face. You can see it here. It's just one movement, um, and then she gets it right. So I couldn't do that for one. Um, I've tried to speed up my, my anchoring process, but for me, it's just too inconsistent. Uh, but I guess with the amount of arrows, like the volume that they've made, um, you just get used to it. Well, after that third arrow from Anne, setting a 29 meant she was always going to extend this one into a fourth set. But it's really good news for her here as she's uh, taken her first two set points to close the gap up by 50%. So very much in the match and looks like after a little wobble in the second, she's found the middle of the target. Yeah, she has indeed. Uh, the second arrow went a bit high as we just saw, but um, yeah, it looks like she knows what to do to hit the middle of the target now. Not that she didn't know before, but you need to get a feel for the venue a bit and uh, you need to get a feel for the match before you can uh, start shooting tens. And some people are a bit quicker than others in uh, doing that. Now, if it was anyone else facing uh, Kang Cha Yung at 4-0 down, you'd say, well, this one's pretty much over now. It's, um, Kang's got this. But it's not the case with Ansan. San. You do fancy that she's got just as much chance of getting back into this and perhaps even winning it. Yeah. Obviously, the, uh, Kang just shot a uh, 28, which is it's not an amazing score. It's, it's a really good score. Uh, but there are people that... Uh, are going to be able to get back from that. Um, it's just that you need no. to shoot a high set score at the right moment. Uh, and that's exactly what Ansan just did. What's always cool to see with uh, Korean archers is how close they are to the clicker when they pull back. So the how close the clicker is to going off before uh, or when they get to anchor. Because that is one of the things that makes them so consistent. Uh, if you need to pull, let's say, a couple millimeters through the clicker, that's always going to be more no. movement than no. when you're already, you know, right at that point. Um, and I think that's just down to shooting uh, a whole bunch of arrows and uh, getting that consistency in. Well, Kang here with an opportunity, her first one, to take 
this semi-final. And she finishes with a perfect 30. What a performance from her. There was a little rally in the middle from An San to get it back to 4-2. But Kang Che Lung looks very, very good at the moment. In her form looking pretty special, even by Korean standards. Yeah, she just no bad scores there. Uh, 29, 28, 28, 30, if I'm uh, not mistaken. Um, it's just, it's good. <laughs> and uh, especially finishing off with a uh, 30 when there is some pressure of winning the match. Uh, yeah, good stuff.